MHS Back in Session, Episode 7, Untamed Principal. It's the most terrifying thing that Mimi could be. Untamed. God help us all. They're pissed because of the the title. It, it just, you know, we're into a little bit, off to a bad start. Pretty sure they were smiling in some of them too. May second, twenty twenty-two. Oh, so yesterday. What time of recording yesterday? Time of upload two days ago. Is something on your mind, Mimi? I'm starting to feel like I'm never wanting to be friends with Jessica K anymore. After what happened at the party, I can understand that. It would suck if that did happen. You two were so close as friends and then just like that it all fell apart. Yeah, this is where the shit goes down. Oh, I'm sorry Mimi, I have to take this. <laughs> he has to no update his frickin' I feel badly for voice Mimi call because Jessica K has gotten onto her bad side by testing her. And I feel badly for Jessica K because she feels threatened by Mimi's anger. And I'm very afraid that the fight between them would turn even more uglier than before. And I don't want that to happen. Hello? Jace, it's me. Carly, what do you need? This isn't the best time. I know, I know. But listen, you know how Jessica K and Mimi had their falling out at the party? Well, I found video evidence that might be able to help. Oh boy. Are you serious? Yes, I am very serious. I'm sending it to you now. Okay, thank you. You assume Mimi's gonna accept that? Hey, Mimi. Well, that was a quick call. Yeah, it was Carly. If it's about the fight between me and Jessica K, I don't want to hear it. She actually wanted to call and told me that she sent me a video. What did I just say? If I ever saw Jessica K, I swear I would put my hands on her again. Cause that makes you the better I person. She doesn't. Not when you two are fighting. I would be happy to if she does. She's not as tough as she thinks. Oh Christ. Oh no. Mimi, where are you? We need to talk. Here it comes. Where did Jessica K get those bruises? Mimi, don't add to them. Mimi, I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk. Leave. Now. Leave. I will, but I want you to listen to me for just a quick minute. It's about our fight. This has nothing to do with school. Bitch, I swear I'm gonna punch you if you don't leave my campus. You're clearly asking for it now. Do you want to keep your position of freedom's infinity or not? I do, but... Then get the fuck out of here right now. Dumb dot all done. Shouldn't have opened your mouth. I'm not gonna go too hard on him because at the end of the day, Jessica was on her grounds. Angry. So she has the right to, call, to kick her out. And she didn't get violent, so I'm not gonna go into a rant about Mimi. Just let it be for now, love. And then, another time, we can put an end to it. There isn't going to be another time. But I wanted to <sighs> stay because I wanted to be a good friend to her. Because we're really close friends, and she's almost like a sister. And I can Some that. sister. I even tried talking to her last night over text, and she still doesn't listen to me. She told me not to talk to her anymore, and that's a little harsh. <laughs> because she doesn't want you testing her when she's in a bad mood. God She'll forbid we hurt her feelings. If you do. I know she can do all this to you, but don't you dare hurt her feelings, otherwise you're a monster. Right now. So I told her to just give Mimi some space for her to not feel nervous by her. And I'm really glad the fight didn't escalate. We'll yeah, that's more true. About it when I get home from work. I'm really upset that Mimi doesn't want to be my friend anymore. She's pushing me to an upper level of feeling more nervous around her than ever before. Because she was very upset about someone getting onto her bad side. 
but I agree with Jace about giving her some time to calm herself down and think about this. I still see her as a very caring and strong woman regardless. I never seen Principal Moonlight this pissed off. I seriously thought Principal Moonlight was gonna come out of the main office. I think she would be in a better mood given the Your fact that she just got proposed to. That's the key. Jay's just trying to keep the peace. Hi, Principal Moonlight and Vice Principal Hubbard. What's up? Hello. How are you two doing today? Oh, we're doing all right. Thank you. Well, that's good. I'm excited for today because I get to use my camera for a class project. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Cameras really do capture a lot of information to any kind of story. It's more than just a picture, or to some a video that's recorded. It describes a whole lot more to give people more of something they may seek, and I hope that this will help me get a good grade on the project I'm working on. Look, this may be a great idea to take pictures for the yearbook. But doesn't it annoy you when someone takes a picture of you that's none of your business? Mm, true. The yearbooks, here they come. Yes, indeed. Well, I think I'm going to get to class before the bell. See you two around. Now just wait a minute. Oh, right in front of the principals? Are you kidding me? Oh, here we go again. But you ain't even supposed to have a camera on school grounds. But I need it for a school project. Exactly. A project to embarrass a slut from the school? Oh, hell no. Oh my god, the I teacher, the, idea the principal is literally about. right freaking there. Alright, Stacy, that's quite enough. Bitch, I ain't talking to you. Mind your business. Oh my god. Really? But you know what <laughs> I'm talking Exactly! About. Thank you, Jace. That's my reaction, exactly. Me, because I really need to be getting to class. Out of the way, you bundles of sticks. Ouch. That hurt. And then she died because Mimi obliterated her Exodia style. Mimi? Yeah? Sick him. Teach Stacy a lesson. Who finds she gets to take her anger out? Oh, what she's gonna do about it? She ain't as duck as she. Get over here. Oh my god! Damn it, if only Vion had a budget. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm marrying that. I think so. But my camera is smashed. I want to hear a random chainsaw well, sound effect. My project. It'll be okay. We have some spare cameras that some of the students use for the school paper. <laughs> you can borrow one of them to use until you can get a replacement for your old one. Is that all you got? You go, girl. Tag out. Tag out. <laughs> this is fine. You're going for good. It's not. Damn. <coughs> That's no new me. <coughs> you all can congratulate Principal Moonlight later during lunch. Right now, <laughs> you all should get to class. We're kicking ass. We don't need to be sending. You know, if you told me that Mimi had like hard. some wrestling belt yeah, in her house, guys. I'd believe it. And not even like, you know, a replica you can buy for like $200 online. Right I mean, like, like she actually Ms. earned Ms. one, you know? Took off before she was given one the spare cameras, so it's important that's given to her for her project. No problem. When I start to think about what Candy said earlier regarding how cameras capture signs to any story, I believe I know a solution on how to resolve Mimi and Jessica Kate's fight. I'll take a picture of it. Wait, this is episode 8, Ultimate Explosion, Expulsion Coming. This was explosion, which I guess wouldn't be inaccurate. We don't even have a prequel, but hey, we got that text, so you know. Something. I didn't like the first app, but Tim would maybe freaking unleashed on this bitch. It's just like, yes! 
you cut <laughs> they had me in the first uh, 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 it's like it's like that they had me in that first half mean but it's more like they got me in that second half not gonna lie or something like that you know I don't think it was mm. the first half me played inside of her rules because at the end of the day it is her school and she does decide who gets to be in the school or not I just wish she'd just slow down and listen but Whatever, if you if we should just deal with this not on school grounds or on school time, fine. Or let that go. It's not worth it anyway. Time and a place and all that jazz. At least she didn't hurt her. Well, physically anyway. Unlike this in the second half where I just fucking obliterated this pink haired girl who's caused nothing but trouble. Except for the laxatives, that wasn't her. Was it? No, no, it was some fat girl. Like, teenagers are idiots. It's the moral of the story, and they always will be, no matter what generation. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's look at the family fathers. I think they were like teenagers when they discovered America, when they, you know, found America or something. It's the ridiculous part of it. They're just like they're 17, they're reading a country. Yeah, uh, really. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Either way, the main point is. Way to go, Mimi. Kick this bitch the funk out. <laughs> Expulsion. I'll find out more about the other stories in the next episode. But first, we're gonna go to Jace Hubbard. Later.